I think that um, cigarettes in general are so detrimental to health that if they can charge as much as they can for them, that's what they need to do. If it's going to cover health care costs, I will, I will recommend it because we do know for a fact now that cigarettes is one of the causes of cancer. Then you have people that also get cancer from secondhand smoke. I don't like it. It could be cheaper. But I can only, I'm right now, I'm pouring the hay for the roll up. I can't even pour a decent pack of cigarettes nowadays. That's good. I think it's good. It might discourage people to smoke. It's not, it's not smoke so much. I think they could raise it some. You know, I, I think I read that it's like around 35 cents right now, and they could probably raise it to another 35 cents or something like that, I would say. I think it's not fair because they can find other ways to replenish the money that they are messing up inside, you know, besides smoking a taxi with that extra dollar because we're paying enough taxes on tobacco and alcohol now. This would last me about a month. This, about a month. Because I don't smoke that much. My recommendation is to stay away from cigarettes, alcohol, and every drugs that they can make it. We need a healthy life, eat some vegetables, drink a lot of water, make exercise, have healthy life. Uh, I don't like it. Well, I don't have any health issues. But, uh, of course, you know that's me. I stopped smoking about, um, I'd say about 11 years ago. But it was uh, you could just tell the difference with your throat, you know. And, I, and I've had uncles that actually passed away of lung cancer and throat cancer from smoking. Cigarettes ain't good for you. But I only smoke a little bit because I got a lot of stress, you know. I live with my mother. I think they should put more money from elsewhere. I, if they're not going to insure people that smoke in the first place, then why raise the people that aren't being insured? If they get what they want, I might as well just go ahead and close up shop right now. Um, it's, a, it's almost as bad as what the cigarette companies were doing. The, the government's taking advantage of people's addiction to nicotine. I think about 70% of the people in Florida don't smoke and 30% do smoke. So, you know, you're relying on 30% of the population to support everybody. I mean, it's, it's the politically correct thing to do if you want to get reelected because it's not going to bother the non smokers. They're not going to be paying any more because they don't smoke anyway. Everybody quit smoking, and then what? Who are they going to tax?